Kia pick into review. Our rating. 4 star. The pick into is Kia's smallest and most affordable new car, packing loads of kit and the same 7 year warranty as the rest of the range. 4. Compact dimensions, quality interior, big car tech. Against. Lethargic engine range, firm ride on bigger wheels, specs can affect fuel economy. The third generation Kia Picanto builds upon the success of its predecessor with a high quality and spacious interior, a grown up driving experience, and a plethora of customization options. It'll have to match the excellent Skoda Citigo punch for punch on value if it is to take the honors in the fiercely competitive city car class. That said, many of the key ingredients are present and correct, making the new pick into an enticing proposition for those wanting an economical, comfortable, and easy-to-drive city car. Our choice. Kia Picanto 2 1.0 GDI. Back in 2004, B-segment super minis like the Ford Fiesta and Volkswagen Polo dominated the small car market. City car sales were faltering, and models like the Volkswagen Lupo and Seat Arosa were being called to make room for more profitable cars like the Evergreen Golf and Stylish Leon. Kia was on a different trajectory, however, aiming its dinky first-generation pick into at cost-conscious first-time buyers after a cheap, cheerful, and fun-to-drive urban runabout. Now in its third generation, the pick into is Kia's fourth biggest selling model globally, with Europe a key market for the stylish and well-built city car. It sits below the Rio, Nero, and Sportage as the entry point to Kia ownership. With the sportier three-door model discontinued midway through the MK2 car's life cycle, this MK3 Picanto model is only available with five doors. UK specifications haven't been announced yet, but trims are expected to follow the rest of the Kia range starting with the basic one version, stepping up through two and three, culminating in the flagship GT line car. Three engines are available, kicking off with a 6.6bhp 1.0 liter three-cylinder. There's a more powerful four-cylinder 1.2 with 8.4bhp, while a turbocharged unit will join the range before the end of 2017. All cars come with a five-speed manual gearbox as standard though the 1.2 can be spec'd with a four-speed auto. It had a distinct lack of rivals in 2004, but the Picanto has plenty of competition today. Our favorite is the Skoda Citigo, but the excellent Hyundai i10, Volkswagen Up, and Seat Me are also worth consideration. Other models vying for your attention include the Citroen C1, Renault Twingo and Suzuki Celerio. Engines, performance, and drive. 3.8 star. Lethargic engines aside, the Kia Picanto is good to drive and nicely refined. A three-cylinder turbo is due later to spice things up. Kia's experienced engineers have made big changes to the way the new Picanto drives. It's a massive improvement on the old car and very nearly matches the best in class for maturity and ease of use. While it's no longer overall, an extended wheelbase and shorter overhangs give the Picanto a more dynamic appearance and tighter turning circle. This means the Kia is great around town, where it makes light work of busy streets and congested car parks. The stiffer anti-roll bars allow decent agility and precise changes of direction, too. But it's not just in the city where this new Kia Picanto feels at home. Greater refinement means it is surprisingly well suited to longer trips, too. Neither engine is particularly fast, but once you're up to speed the Picanto can maintain momentum as well as any of its city car rivals. Taller inclines and quick overtakes pose a bit of a problem, but even this can't detract from the Kia's grown-up driving manners. Engines If performance is a priority, it'll be worth waiting for the upcoming turbo model, which is due on sale in the UK by the end of 2017. The normal 1.0-liter car does 0 to 62 miles per hour in 14.3 seconds, while the 1.2 shaves more than 2 seconds off the time to complete the dash in 12 seconds flat. The turbo, however, can manage the benchmark sprint in 10.1 seconds and is likely to feel far faster as a result. All cars come with a 5-speed manual gearbox, 
while an auto is available on the 1.2. The most basic unit is a naturally aspirated 1.0 liter 3 cylinder motor with 66 bhp and 96 nm of torque. It is a little wheezy especially on taller inclines and when overtaking, but around town it feels sprightly enough. Despite all this, it's got plenty of character, and it settles down nicely on the motorway. Next up is the 4-cylinder 1.2, which boasts a comparatively impressive 8.4 bhp. However, despite the extra power it's not much faster in a straight line. In gear acceleration is better and you'll find yourself changing gear less frequently due to the greater torque. It's not as much fun as the standard 1.0 liter car, though it's equally hushed at high speed. The two entry-level engines will be joined by a three-cylinder turbo towards the end of 2017, packing 9.8 bhp and significantly more torque. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 4.3 star. The Kia Picanto will be cheap to run, though various options can affect the car's fuel economy and emissions. Whichever way you look at it, the Kia Picanto is one of the most affordable new cars money can buy. That goes for everything from list price, to fuel, tax and consumables even the brightly colored option packs are expected to offer decent value. The standard 1.0 liter non-turbo Picanto emits 101 g/km of CO2 and returns 67.2 mpg. However, there are a number of changes you can make to your new car's spec, which will help reduce CO2 emissions and thus improve fuel economy. Go for the 4-seat version rather than the 5-seat car and you'll shave 10 g/km off the Picanto's emissions, boosting fuel economy by around 6 mpg. LED daytime running lights save another gram. The 1.2 emits 104 g/km, which is a fair trade for the improved performance. That car will do 62.7 mpg, which is still better than the old car and a few miles per gallon up on the Hyundai i10 1.2. Still, the extra power is unlikely to affect consumables such as tires, brakes and oil. Insurance groups. Insurance groups for the new Kia Picanto haven't been revealed yet, but the old one was extremely popular with young drivers thanks to its low Group 2 rating. Most Renault Twingos fall into Group 2 or 3, but some Skoda Citigo models boast the lowest Group 1 classification. Depreciation As the Picanto is so new, prices and therefore residual values are yet to be announced. The old car wasn't too strong in this regard, Though low list prices mean the money you'll lose is comparatively small compared to cars in the class above. So, while most previous generation Kia Picantos retained between 32 and 36 percent of their value after 3 years or 36,000 miles, the fact that even the priciest sport models came in at under 12,000 pounds means you'll likely lose less on a Picanto than you would on an equivalent Rio, for example. A Volkswagen up? performs better here, with almost all models retaining 38-40% to 40 of their value. Interior, Design, and Technology 4.1 Star Quality is very good, while higher spec cars come with a 7-inch touchscreen display. Prices and specs haven't been announced, but Kia representatives have suggested the range will comprise 1, 2, 3, and GT line when the car goes on sale in May 2017 with a flagship GT line S throwing in extra sporty details. We're told that three spec cars and above should feature a sharp 7-inch screen, while options across the range should include big car features such as cruise control, heated seats, and a reversing camera. Some cars will even come with keyless go and live traffic updates. Quality is good, and much improved over the outgoing Pican 2, which was showing its age in places. Black and grey cloth comes as standard, but buyers can opt for one of several interior color packs to brighten up the cabin. There are loads of new exterior hues, too, which should appeal to younger buyers. GT line cars get red details on the grille and bumpers, as well as similar flashes inside. Sat NAV stereo and infotainment. Unlike its VW group rivals, the Skoda Citigo, Seat Me, and Volkswagen Up, 
which make do with a cheap and nasty mobile phone cradle, the Kia Pican 2 is available with a sharp 7-inch touch screen. The intuitive screen is expected to feature on grade 3 cars and above, bringing Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and 3D SAT NAV maps. It's as simple and easy to use as it is in the flagship Sorento SUV, with all the same software and identical menus. Everything is logically laid out and easy to use, meaning changing the radio or making a call a simple and straightforward on the move. Practicality, comfort, and boot space. 4.2 Star City cars will always be tight on space, but the Pican 2 maximizes its dimensions with a roomy interior and decent boot. Few people buy a city car for outright practicality, but for those interested in a tiny car with generous interior dimensions, the Kia Pican 2 impresses. There's no three-door model anymore, but access via the wide-opening rear doors makes getting in and out infinitely easier. There are two seating configurations, with the four-seat model saving 10g slash km of CO2. The five-seat car is more versatile though, giving buyers the option of carrying an extra passenger when the need arises. Visibility is good, thanks to the thin pillars and upright rear screen, though top-spec cars are likely to offer a reversing camera as an option. Other practical features include a small central armrest, as well as usable doorbins and a decent glove box. You'll also find a couple of cup holders ahead of the gear lever. Size The new Kia Pican 2 is no longer overall than the car it replaces. However, by extending the distance between the front and rear wheels, the designers and engineers have managed to increase cabin comfort for all passengers. At just over 3.5 m long, the Pican 2 is among the smallest cars on sale. A Skoda Citigo is ever so slightly shorter, but it beats the Hyundai i10 for dinky dimensions. At 1.59 m wide, it's easy to park, too. Leg room, headroom and passenger space. By extending the wheelbase, Kia has managed to create more space inside for passengers and cargo. The dashboard has been raised by 15 mm for more knee room up front, while space in the back is now sufficient for adults on longer journeys. Two seating configurations are available to UK buyers, with the four-seat model saving 10g slash km of CO2 and therefore improving predicted fuel economy. The five-seat model is more versatile, however, and many buyers will value the enhanced versatility over the extra real-world range. Boot the new Kia Pican 2 actually boasts best in-class boot space beating all its main rivals for outright carrying capacity. A Ford Ka and is bigger with the seats in place, but fold them flat and the Pican 2's 1.010 liter load area is unbeatable. Few people buy a city car to carry really big loads, but on the odd occasion when space is a priority, the Pican 2 can deliver. Lift the tailgate and you'll find a wide opening and movable floor, revealing a 255-liter boot. A Hyundai i10 offers 252 liters, while the VW Group trio of SeatMe, Skoda Citigo, and VW Up, boast 251-liter load base. Reliability and Safety 4.1 Star Kia still offers an industry-leading 7-year warranty, and customers seem a happy bunch. Kia has built a hard-earned reputation for reliability over the past two decades, cemented by a bold 7-year slash 100,000 mile warranty. The maker tends to perform well in our annual driver power owner satisfaction survey, too, proving owners are a happy bunch. The brand finished 14th out of 31 manufacturers in the 2016 survey, with its dealers placing an even more impressive 9th. While official specs haven't been confirmed, automatic emergency braking likely to feature on most models for a top Euro NCAP crash safety rating. The system uses a long-range radar to detect slowing vehicles, first playing an audible warning, before applying the brakes to prevent a collision. Cruise control and rear park assist also feature. Warranty all Kias including the most basic Pican 2 come with a 7-year slash 100,000 mile warranty. While most people won't keep their car that long, 
it shows impressive confidence in the product backed up by an impressive performance in our annual driver power owner satisfaction survey. Rivals like the Skoda Citigo and VW Up get a three-year warranty, while even Hyundai, Kia's sister brand, can only manage a five-year guarantee. Servicing Kia offers a variety of service plans under its Care 3 policy. That means owners can get their first three services for £299, 30,000 miles or 36 months, or £329 including the car's first MOT. Care 3 Plus starts from £599 but covers five services, taking the car to 50,000 miles or its fifth birthday. The fixed price servicing deals offer decent value for money and are transferable to any subsequent owners should you choose to sell the car before the time is up. All work is undertaken by Kia technicians, using Kia parts, Kia tools, and Kia diagnostic kit.